June is a month of celebrations. Hi, I'm Connie Vandeman Jeffrey, and this is All God's People. From weddings to graduations to Father's Day to the beginning of summer, this June is already beginning to feel different from last June. There are more in-person gatherings, in-person worship services, and restrictions lifting all over our union as more and more people are getting vaccinated and feeling a sense of normalcy returning to their lives. And of course, there's the June Recorder. If you haven't read it cover to cover yet, take a Sabbath afternoon to do so. The cover features Pastor Andrea Trusty King as she sets an example of leading in the age of COVID. Elder Brad Newton's editorial, The Ransom of Greatness, is a must read, as well as part one of the historical piece on Merritt Gardner Kellogg by Jim Wibberding. Part two will be featured next month. And the news from our conferences continues to inspire me each month. The recorder in English and Spanish is always available at our website, AdventistFaith.com, if you prefer to read it online. Tomorrow, June 19, is Refugee Sabbath. Adventist Refugee and Immigrant Ministries invites churches across North America to remember the 68.5 million forcibly displaced people worldwide, including more than 3 million refugees who have come right here to North America. Some religious denominations choose to focus on refugee awareness around the time of World Refugee Day, designated by the United Nations and celebrated annually on June 20. The North American Division and the General Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church designate a special day each year during June for Refugee Sabbath to raise awareness of the needs of the unprecedented numbers of refugees who have fled their homes due to war and persecution. For more information, visit the links in our bulletin. Tomorrow is Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day or Emancipation Day a holiday celebrating the emancipation of those who had been enslaved in the United States. Even though the Emancipation Proclamation had been enacted by President Abraham Lincoln on January 1, 1863, many enslaved persons in the Confederate States had no way of learning of this change in the laws of the United States. On June 19, 1865, in Galveston, Texas, in one of the first actions of his command, Major General Gordon Granger issued General Order No. 3 announcing that the Emancipation Proclamation was the law and that enslaved African Americans in the Texas district were free. The day became known as Juneteenth, a second Independence Day. The celebration of Juneteenth has grown tremendously over the years and is now recognized by 47 states and the District of Columbia. Juneteenth is a day to celebrate for all God's people. This coming Sunday, June 20, is Father's Day, a time to honor and celebrate those amazing men in our lives, our fathers, stepfathers, and grandfathers. There's a wonderful new book from Pacific Press called Fathers, The Meaning of Being a Father in Today's Society. It's a collection of insights, scientific findings, and powerful stories about the meaning of being a father. Links are in our bulletin on how you can order it. And a very happy Father's Day to all the dads. From dads to grads, graduations in our union from kindergarten through college have taken place these past few weeks. We close today's episode with a very special graduation message from the president of the Pacific Union Conference, Elder Ricardo Graham. Hello and greetings from the Pacific Union Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I want to take this opportunity to especially say a word of congratulations to our graduates. From whatever level you have graduated, you have run the race, you've kept the faith, you've completed your course, and you are receiving or have already received your graduation diploma or your degree. Wonderful, I'm glad you made it, but don't stop now. Keep learning so that you can be a better tool for Jesus Christ, that you can become the best craftsman that you can or the best doctor, nurse, a policeman, whatever you choose to do, do your best for the master. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, Elder Graham. And thank you for joining us this week. For All God's People, I'm Connie Jeffrey.